there, you two. My name is Windaptor, but please call me Windy. So today I'm here with the British insults video. Now, real quick, before I continue saying anything, I'm going to say that if you don't know this, uh, as I said in my Irish video, I am also part British. So I wanted to look some of this stuff up uh, just to see what you know there was and what there could be. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I said I would try and like look at some facts about the UK. So what I did was I just looked up information about the UK. So what we're gonna do is this isn't just gonna be the insults video, this is all gonna be an information video. Mm, excuse me, and I will do this uh, for the same thing tomorrow, for the curse words. I've got nothing else to do, so, oh well. <laughs> so let's get to it, so this first word is bellend. Uh, when it comes to thinking of new insults, by the way, I've not read this, the channel's always a good place to start. This is a universal constant of swearing. Bellend comes from a fine line of penis related insults, which are probably as old as language itself. You can probably work out what it refers to, but what you may not realize is that bellend is actually quite an affectionate term. It'll get you into a fight if you say nastily. Nastily. I feel like I'm not saying that right enough. But it generally tends to be using their affection or exasperation. Depending on the situation, bellend is on a par with the American asshole in terms of being not safe for visiting dignitaries, but perfectly fine still to talk among friends. So I guess in this case, like, it's basically the American equivalent of saying asshole. And then, like, you can say it among your friends. Amongst your friends. That's my guess. Uh, let's see. Twat. I've heard this one. I didn't, I didn't realize, like, how much of an uh, insult it was. Sometimes the words are the same on either side of the Atlantic, but, e but their meaning and use is different. Where there are hideously offensive, offensive insults derived from the female genitalia, twa is the milder, milder end of the scale. And as far as the British are concerned, the link between the thing the word is named after and the insult it carries is becoming fuzzier every day. And it's not an insult that's reserved for girls either. If I'd been to a party, say, and drunk most of the punch, then got a bit fighty, then a bit shouty, then a bit sicky, I would full expect to wake up the following afternoon to a barrage, barrage of texts calling me a twat. Twat. It sounds like it's a twat. What the fuck? I don't know. And in my fulsome apology to the host, I'd be calling myself it too. Ah. Wanker. I have heard wanker as well. I've heard twat and wanker from uh, Minilad, because he's um from the UK. Only he's lived in like a bunch of different countries. Uh, but wanker, less affectionate and most commonly thrown with some venom. If you've seen the in-betweeners, you'll know this is one of fa Jay's fa- Jay- Why can I not talk today? I don't know. Jay's infamous bus wankers moment. And as you'll know- As you'll have noticed, people don't really like being called it. The word refers to masturbation, but a wanker is someone whose defining characteristic is that they masturbate. They are therefore alone, obsessive, and probably not too hygienic. Even the most enlightened sex ed teacher would balk? Balk? Is that how you say that word? I'm not sure. Balk of being called a wanker. Tosser. On the other uh, hand, being a tosser is somehow a little bit more acceptable, despite the two words having the exact same meaning. So I guess wanker and tosser mean the same thing, I'm guessing. Uh, dickhead. We use this term in America. We use this term in America. I don't know about all the time, but sometimes. I also don't mind that. But a dickhead, a glorious catch of all term of abuse, slightly less friendly than bellend, aimed at any man, woman, and child from any ethnic background and of any sexual persuasion. And answers in particular the song first. Blah, blah, blah. I won't look at it right now. But a arsehole. Huh. As distinct from the American asshole, there's just something a a little more grotesque about the elongated R at the beginning that makes the word somehow penetrative and all the more redolent of waste products. And so if you're an asshole, you're provocative and worthless and probably an idiot, but you can take comfort should that word be thrown your way. At least no one thinks you're an arsehole. That was a tumble of sounds and words that just came out of my mouth. I feel I feel like I was vomiting words. I feel like that was just a bunch of word vomit. What? <laughs> what in the world? Oh my god. Like seriously, I felt like I was starting to say a tongue twister. Blah, 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 blah. 
uh, a scrub room. And here's where things get unpleasant for the girls. Oh shit. A uh, scrubber is an old term for a prostitute. And as you may already know, when seeking to insult a woman, the easiest thing to do is suggest she is freely available for sex if the money is right. It really seems to get on their nerves. There's been a certain amount of post-feminist feminist clawback on terms like th on terms like this. See also slapper. Slap what? Is, is that like a thing where like you like you slap somebody? What? And you'll now hear women throwing it about with carefree abandon. But as with all reclaimed insults, it's all about who says it to whom and what their intentions are. Okay, so this one is basically where you're saying I guess you could say like you're saying like girls like easy. And so it depends on but it depends like who you're saying it to and how you're saying it. I, so I guess it kinda comes down to like to any of these so far is that how you saying it, how you say it, and who you say it to. Uh slag. Again to be thrown at the woman who stole your man, but not the man who went off with that woman. Although to be fair, he's clearly almost every other word on the list on this list. Even the slightly affectionate ones. Slag does get used in other contexts nowadays, mind. As in Smith's song, Paint a Vulgar Picture, where the deliberately non-gender specific Morrissey describes a record company gold rush after the death of, the death of a star. The psychophantic slags all say, I knew him first, I knew him well. We're not gonna look at the song. Wait, not to be used with slag off or slagging off, which refers to talking trash about someone behind their back. Oh, okay. And then I... I think that's the last word. Give me one second and check and see if that's the worst What? I'm back and that actually was the last word. So I'm gonna jump on over to the next article which has the 10 facts I think, or I think it's 10 facts, about the UK. Uh, we're gonna take a look at them. Look, look, look. <laughs> I think my voice cracked a bit or something, I'm not sure. We're gonna take a look at them, we'll see what I don't know, we'll see what you guys don't know, and we'll have a good time. <laughs> So give me just one second, guys, and I'll be right back. One second. Okay, here we are at the 10 amazing, fun, and interesting facts about the UK. So I'm going to read this little part first, just to uh, kind of introduce the thing, I guess. Or introduce the fact. Uh, but the UK, officially known as the United Kingdom of Brit Great Britain, and Northern Ireland is a su and Northern Ireland is a sovereign, s sovereign state located at Northwest Europe, United Kingdom. Or Northwest Europe. United King, the UK, well, let's just say UK, has four countries England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. As I've said before. Let us know. Da, 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 da. Okay, so interesting facts. Drink, drink. Uh, let's see this first one. Okay, so London has the credit for has the credit for the first hot chocolate store ever opened. The English drink the most tea in the world. It is against the law to get drunk in a pub in England. Really? So, my guess is that apparently you can get drunk at home, you just can't get drunk in England. And then, uh, in Scotland, it is against the law to get drunk and possess a- Possess a cow? Does that mean you can't, like, get drunk and go buy a cow? Or does that mean you can't be a farmer and then get drunk and go back to your cows? Possess a cow? What? That makes no sense, but it's kind of funny. Like, I, I guess probably a serious matter more so. Like, there's probably a serious reason behind it. But I've never heard that. I've never heard that before. That's very interesting. Uh, name forms, okay. The conventional law form of the UK is United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Great Britain includes England, Scotland, and Wales. Many people use just the abbreviation UK. The conventional short form is the United Kingdom. So that's what's talking about. For a second, I said like name forms. I thought like, does it talk about like people's names? I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, landscape. UK mostly has knife edge ridges in hi and high grounds and valleys in between. Thick glaciers from the ice age are responsible for such a terrain. Ooh, cool. Uh, almost 75% of the land in the UK is taken for farming. Makes sense. The highest point is Ben Navis at 1,343 meters I'm guessing is what it is and the lowest point is negative four meters at the fence at the what at the fence what the f what the fuck is the fence if you know what the fence is please let me know famous architecture uh the Buckingham Palace has its own police the 
The Buckingham Palace has its own police station. What? How'd they get it in there? How did they, how the fuck did they get it in there? What? Well, then again, they probably just built it in there. Uh, the largest royal home is the Windsor Castle. I feel like I've heard of that. Big Ben refers to the bell and not the clock. Ooh, I didn't know that. Uh, there are 28 World Heritage Sites in the UK and four in London. These include the Westminster Palace, the Tower of London, Maritime Greenwich, Kew Botanical Gardens. I think I said that first word, right? And, oh, and, and Kew Botanical Gardens. Put an and in there! These interesting facts of the UK about UK architecture are really, really exciting. Good to know. Uh, bridges. According to history, the London Bridge has indeed fallen down according to the old rhyme when the Saxons had torn it down using ropes and boats. The Thames have... Wait, the Thames has over 200 bridges and tunneled along its course. Damn, that's a lot of bridges. Uh, animals. Ooh, yay! Animal time. I love animals. Okay. In medieval England, animals were tried for their crimes and even punished for them. What? What? How did... How does an animal commit a crime? What? Oh my god. Pig. Pig. Not sure how to say that. Meant clay in olden days. People stored their coins in these clay jars, which later evolved to piggy banks. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. I didn't know that. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Uh, the mute swans are officially owned by the queen. The, the mute swans? Okay, give me just one second. I'm going to look this up. One second. Okay, I will say real quick uh, before I go back. Uh, apparently, I looked it up. The mute swan is a species of a swan. And it's member of the waterfowl family and a today it is native to much of eurasia and the far north of africa and just north america da, da, da. so basically it's just a bird basically and apparently the queen owns some i know right, back to the article and we are back all righty on as we go da, 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 da. the driver of the vehicle who kills a deer cannot eat it but the person sitting beside can do so what? Hold on. Let me read it again. The driver of the vehicle who kills a deer can't eat it. But the person sitting beside can do so. How did that come to be? Okay. And then the chickens outnumber the humans in the UK. But I think that's it. Some weird course. Yeah, that's it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. Uh, tomorrow should be the British curse words video. And we will look at some more facts about the UK then. But until then, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!